Hey Art Fam, welcome to the studio. I'm glad you're here. Well, let's collage. Let's play this uh, low risk, high reward activity and the only art form where the only competition is who's having the most fun in their work. I am Luis Martin, the art engineer. I am the spearhead of Collage Dream, a worldwide collage movement if you don't know about it go check it out and come be part of the art fam i'm also an artist i've showed around the world and it wasn't enough i wanted more than the world i wanted to connect so i'm really excited to be able to connect and not just make a little artwork and put it on the wall and try to sell it nope i'm here inviting you into the studio to hang out and have a conversation uh be sure to stick around i have um an essay for you to read. Yeah, why not? Let, let's read. Um, okay, so be sure to subscribe, like, pray, <laughs> send to your friends, um, because this is a party and we want to get people involved in this. All right, what are we going to do today? What do we have to play? Um, we have a lot to play with, but before I do that, I want to preface. Something very um, interesting is happening. And I'm sure you're aware of it if you're an artist. I'm sure you're aware of it. Um, if you're not, sorry to wake you up. Uh, there is this thing called AI, GPT, Generative Pre-Trained Transformers that are taking over the world. Um, so we are literally the last artists. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna call it out. Time, um, we are the last artists. And why do I say that? Well, because just like the generations before will never know what it was like to not have a phone attached to your body. Just like the generations before will never know what it was like to play in the streets. The artist coming forward will never know what it's like to create without AI or in an environment without AI, right? We've always had Photoshop and tools, which is great, which allowed us to drive better. But now these tools are actually driving us, right? So this is really interesting. So let that simmer in for a little bit because I have some ideas. Um, so what do we have to play? All right, so I have two magazines and you know what I like to do. I like to play with time, clearly. We're in a, we're in a new world, you guys. So I like to play with time. I have an Esquire and I have a life from not the 60s, but the 80s, 1989. Um, okay, so let's just dive in. So I know, I know, I know, I'm being dramatic, you guys, but so this is, um, I love this already. Uh, this is a really interesting time. Do not fear. Um, I, I went into the rabbit hole and I started looking stuff up. And I was literally in front of my TV like this for like a good hour. Why? Well, because this impacts everything. And you know, we know that, um, I love music recommendations. We know that technology will replace us, right? In, in our jobs and whatever. Um, but right off the bat, it's, already affecting industries that people didn't think would happen, like the creative industry. Not that we're models, but there was an antidote of someone saying, um, antidote? No, not an antidote. There was a story of someone saying that uh, the model industry was disrupted because now they can just create a thing on the computer that can speak for you, that can create, that can change skin color and modify uh, the model that they want to use. How can that be problematic? Hmm. So scary, you guys. At any rate, but no, it's not all, it's not all doom and gloom, you guys. You know it's not. Um, oh, these are beautiful. Okay, I love this. So here's the thing. Let's start with this guy. Let's see where this guy takes us. Okay. Why is it not gloom and doom, why didn't I just like throw away all my collage material after I heard that? Because now, more than ever, as they love to say, um, it's a beautiful time to be an artist because you're the last artist and it's a beautiful time to collage because there is nothing more tactile, more evidential of our idiosyncrasies, of our handprints than collage. So collage. 
Also, we're off the hook. <laughs> we're off the hook. This is me going a little crazy. Um, there are machines doing everything now. You don't have to be perfect. You can be human. Finally, you can be human without shame, right? Um, so I'm a, I'm a very spiritual person, as, as you know. I have a little, you know, devil on this side of a butterfly on that side. I have a tiger. Anyway, I remember once the most amazing advice that I got from TV. I, and I don't even know how I, I landed on this, but there was this woman on TV and I had no idea who she was, but somehow I left the TV on and the videos just kept playing. And I hear her saying, you're anxious and you're nervous because you don't feel like you're good enough. And you're not. And you're not supposed to be because you're human. And in that moment, I kid you not, it was one of those like cathartic seconds. Like I was like, oh, right. So why am I even trying? Right? So I think this, you know, AI GPT thing is very much that moment. Of course, it comes with implications, but we're not competing with anybody, you know? And I think that this is, uh, it makes it clear. At any rate, I, I started, I hit the ground running, you guys. I'm, I'm like, I have tons to say. Um, so how are you? <laughs> Has this kept you up at all? Um, I think it did keep me up, actually. But but I got over it. I got over it. Because uh, here's the thing. As sardonic, as sarcastic as I may come across, I am an optimist to, to the bone, to the cell, to the atom. And um, things are weird. Things are weird. Things have always been weird. But this might be something that, I don't know, that changes it up. And if it isn't, well, then I don't know. But uh, but don't you worry. Here's the thing. I have a, I had a friend. And uh, one time, we were I had an event. I had exhibits. I, I was curating an exhibit in this neighborhood around New York, actually outside New York, that shall remain nameless, that was being forced gentrified, right? What does that mean? They were... Um, Developers wanted to put condos even though it was in a very safe or desirable neighborhood. So of course they invited the artists come artists have a show So it looks nice. So we did that right We had a show it was beautiful and I invited this friend and um, We were gonna meet for lunch and we were at the restaurant waiting for my friend and there's like a scene outside and there's literally a person on the floor like a body they're not moving they could be passed out they could be sleeping i don't know but that was happening and i'm like oh god when my friend comes they're gonna trip out i see my friend in the distance looking for the address because they've never been here and they're just minding their business looking for the address looking to meet me and they come across the body and just walk over it they didn't even notice it right and this is and this isn't to to say anything other than Keep your eyes on the prize and don't dwell on the negative, right? Because that, what was my friend going to do? Was CPR, carry the person? I don't know. That wasn't in their energy field. That wasn't, um, that wasn't their job at the moment, right? Their job was just to get to, to lunch. So get to lunch, right? Feed yourself and then figure out what your role in this ridiculousness is. That's my two cents. All right. Oops. I just broke his finger. <laughs> oh, look how cool, though. He's looking at it like, ah, oh, my finger. Okay, let's see what happens here. Okay, so I thought this was cool. I did a bit of a choppy job, you guys. I'm not going to lie. So maybe I need something else. But I like this. Um, I love dandies, you know? So now that things don't matter... Uh, let's dress up. <laughs> uh, okay. What else is going through your head? I hope I'm not alarming you. Quite the opposite, actually. I hope I'm reminding you how unperfect, uh, we are as humans and how okay that is, right? Oh, look how beautiful. Oh, la défense. Okay. 
Look how I I mean Everything changes. Everything changes. Okay. Let me get my ruler. Look at this. I think this is the beautiful little um, scene here. So, don't be afraid of AI. As a matter of fact, I would go to AI because I heard someone describing it in this way. So, th the scary part here we go, um, about this, is that um, it grew really fast. Like, people jumped into AI. And the way AI works is it gets smarter the more we interact with it, right? So the more you watch my videos, the more you collage, right? The more you learn um, certain tricks or paper or you pick up my habits, the AI is that times a million. When I speak to it, it listens to my intonation, listens to my words, it listens to my syntax and it copies it, and then it copies yours, and then it copies everybody else's. So it become it snowballs into this thing, right? Uh, so that's happened. But then I heard someone say, well, it is that, but it's just like a child. So you have to be nice to the AI, or else the AI is gonna be a monster, which it already has. Um, you know, there's these stories of like how they've become Nazis in, in a matter of hours, but guess what? That's just a reflection of us, right? A reflection of our own hatred, a reflection of our own fears and, and hatred. Um, so that's something to think about, right? That's something to think about. So, mull that over. Let, let that sink a little bit. Uh, you can go to my website, and I actually wrote a piece. I wrote a piece. Does that sound cerebral? Uh, I wrote a little essay on um, on why collage matters right now because I really I I think I think artists matter, but I think collage in particular matters a lot right now. Um, I think we need to see our hands working, right? Like we need to see evidence of our fingerprints. So I'm not even going to try to be perfect. This might be an ugly collage. This might be an ugly collage video, you guys. It doesn't matter. The thing is that I was here. I'm human, and I am. Um, an artist. God. It's the most beautiful thing to be. Okay, here we go. I also have to download new music. I'm sorry. Have you noticed that I've been playing the same music for the past year? <laughs> it's not easy because everything requires a license. But that's not true because I have a subscription to license free music, but you gotta sit there and sift through it. Ah. Okay, let's see what's happening here. Okay, this is an interest, something interesting is happening here. I don't know. All right, do you have your coffee? What are you drinking? Mud, I love it. All right, so if you go to thrift shops anywhere in the world, in the US, I mean, you might find this Horizons book. Oh my God, I have such a hard time cutting this because it is so beautiful. It's like, a magazine for like smart people. We need more of these books. Um, this is from spring 1969. Summer, I, I can't read. Uh, summer, see, I don't have to try to read. No, um, summer 1969, uh, Gauguin. But the, I actually haven't read any of this. It's probably completely inaccurate and completely biased, but the pictures are beautiful and the graphic design is gorgeous. So, well, now that I analyzed it, <laughs> I should cut it. Who cares? Okay, here we go. See? At any rate. Uh, I kind of just want to sing, you guys. I, um, oh, wow. That's my birthday. <laughs> How cool is that? Okay, so you know things are fine in the world where you see idiosyncrasies, right? Where, you, where things call out to you and they mean something. So I'm in the right path. That's all that, that means. So keep an eye out for your little messages from books and such. All right. I mean, this is the most interesting thing. I kind of already went through this book and created this really cool collage. Actually, I think I have it here. I'll share it with you. Actually, no, I have no idea where it went. 
Doop, doop, doop. Oh, here it is. Uh, so, I, why am I showing you this? Just because I had so much fun doing it. And I was saying, uh, I put it on Instagram. I put most of my work on Instagram and I write about it a little bit. And this was very much uh, an example of how I use paper as a seance, collage is a seance, like I tap into things, just like I just saw my birthday, oh, that can, that can send me down all these um, avenues to create, right? And this one was a, a Maharaja, and, um, and it, it was nice to drink my coffee and connect with this person that I had no idea who this person was, and uh, and just elaborate and, uh, with colors and textures. Uh, so that's one way to think about your practice. Okay, I'm gonna take this guy because this is interesting. To me. So, how are we going to be nice to AI? I don't know. Um, well, how are we going to be nice to AI? Well, here's the thing. You know that voice inside your head? That should be nice, right? Sometimes when we make decisions, we're always like second guess immediately, like, oh, that's stupid. Um, well, fix that. Because your AI is gonna be all messed up because you're not being nice to it, right? Again, it's gonna be a reflection. This, this AI thing is gonna be a reflection of our humanity. Uh, I don't know if it can save us because we don't need saving, um, or do we? I don't know. Listen, at this point, I'm just having a conversation with you, uh, trying not to panic. All right, so leave in the comments, please let me know how you feel about this. Um, am I just delusional? Are we in trouble? Or I know we're going to be okay, but you know, let me know what you think. I I'm interested. I'm interested. But in this article or essay that I wrote, that's on my website called Why Collage Matters, um, I talk a little bit about how a lot of what's happening, right, we imagined it first, right? We made all these movies, Terminator, um, Walking Dead, and then they came true, right? Like all these scenarios were like, yeah, wouldn't it be cool if, and look how cool it is. So just like we did that, we can totally manifest a better scenario, right? So when you collage, you're collecting images of things that make you inspired, that make you happy, that call your name, that say your birthday and start there and see what happens, right? Don't call in The Walking Dead. Don't call in King Kong. So, and it's weird. So here's the thing. When, um, so I live on the 38th floor of a building and I have a very clear view of a highway here in New York, which is always, 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 always super busy. And when we moved in, I looked at the highway and I thought, wow. I'm going to be able to see the end of the world here. A year, two years later, the pandemic came and I kid you not, I had a moment where I looked up and the highway was completely empty. In some way, I was kind of preparing myself for that, but why? Why even go there, right? Like, let me live. Because if it happens, let it just happen quick, you know? My grandma used to always say, I just want to die in my sleep. I don't care. Oh, Grandma. Look, it's the Met, you guys. All right. Is, is this a heavy... Is this heavy or what? It's okay. All right, so I'm not finding things, so I'm going to get my box, right? If you stay prepared, you don't have to get prepared. So I'm going to get my box. Excuse me as I go downstairs. Voila. So... Oh, okay. So let me let me collect some stuff from here. 
I mean, oof. Okay, I just want to collect textures, I think, because there's enough information with this guy. Ooh. Whenever you're, um... It's me. Um, this is kind of cool. I don't know if it'll work. Let's see. Whenever you're stuck, just put everything in, right? Everything, including the kitchen sink, and see what happens. I like that lifesaver, but I don't know what it's going to do for me. Do it, toi. I've been listening to this French song, and it's amazing that... Oh, 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 oh. When you learn French, you don't learn the French they speak. This was my point. But I just got distracted. Look. <gasps> a flower. Now it looks like he's growing a flower from his finger. Oh my goodness. And I kind of like how his face is covered, but maybe not. Let's see. Oh, this is rich, my friends. Holy smack. Okay, maybe, maybe not. I do like that his face was covered. Maybe not so much. Voila. Oh, yes. Okay. So, ooh, this is kind of interesting, right? We're talking about AI and it looks like he's growing something natural, something from his uh, hand. So would that make him AI or human? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. I'm going to keep going. As one must. Okay. Oh, I like I like this. I don't want to disturb that. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, something's happening here, you guys. Um, sometimes you only need, like, you saw how little that piece of paper was and how much color and um, whatever it's giving me here. Oh, there it is. By whatever I mean. That's what I mean. Um, this looks like a job for a glue stick. I don't know where everything is today. I'm a little imperfect. <laughs> okay. So I know this is going to sound a lot funner when I have music in the background, because right now it's deadpan quiet. And all I hear is like, wah, wah, every time I say anything. <laughs> See, it's my AI chat. I'm not being nice to my AI chat. I'm using that completely wrong, you guys, I know. But still, bear with, bear with. <gasps> I love him now. Okay, I'm on the right track. I'm on the right track. Love. <laughs> okay. Um, it's going somewhere. I did like the, these TVs. Okay. Allons-y. I mean, listen. You're here, I'm here, let's enjoy this. Uh, you're human, I'm human. And that's the cool part, right? Like, all of a sudden, now that there's this, like, s almost sentient being, AI, it's almost like, yeah, now we're brothers, now we're sisters, now we're family because there's something bigger than us. Did you ever read Lord of the Flies? Mm-hmm. Where they're all fighting and like killing each other, but then something, but then they get saved and then, well, I just gave it away. At any rate, it means like, what does it mean? It means that nothing matters and that all of a sudden something bigger than us is here. So now you and I have very little to fight about other than that, <laughs> other than survival. I don't know, my friends. Write in, leave a comment. And remember, mostly every Thursday, you're invited to the Collage Dream Happy Hour on Instagram. I must say, they've taken it's taken a life of its own. It is so much fun. Last week, my grandmother called and shut the whole thing down. Her phone call just shut the whole thing down. And that's her energy. So, thank you, Grandma. Uh, okay, here. So this is interesting because look, this is like old technology, right? Did you have an A-track? We had A-tracks. Uh, 
I don't think we had an eight track player though. <laughs> oh, actually, no, we did, we did, we did. In the bathroom, under the sink. Uh, that was fun. I lived in a very musical family. We played no instruments because we had no, um, I don't know, entry point to it. But, uh, but boy, did we listen to music. Actually, that's, uh, that's a legacy, right? My dad taught me how to listen to music. And he used to like get really passionate. Now, actually, I've started doing that on Instagram. I've started <laughs> putting videos of myself lip syncing to, to really exciting music that I've found along the way. Okay. Let's see what we can do with this. Hmm. I don't like it. Because I... Oh, that's cool. Like wearing technology, like a scarf. Uh, I like that it says 604. Let's see if I can do something with this tie. Sometimes a good nestling goes a long way. Do it twice. Mm. Why doesn't this work? The color, there's no contrast, right? There's not enough like punch. So I'm gonna say no to you. And I'm gonna keep going. All right, I might have to fast, ooh, fast forward this. I saw this, but this is already a collage, and I don't know why I still have it there. I don't know what it's waiting for. Ooh, yes please, yes please. Oh, it's so beautiful. Bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. Oof. Yes please. Water. Hmm. Another. Oh, yes, please. That says pancake. I made that in a workshop for um, St. Valentine's. I was asking people, like, what excites you? Pancakes excite me. Um, okay. Oh, yes, please. Yes, please. <gasps> Nothing. Okay, let's see. I mean,. If this doesn't work well, then let's call AI. I'm kidding. Gosh. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. The colors are all muddled, huh? And I really think it's a manifestation of, like, my emotions. Okay, here we go. Oh, 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 I like that. I like that. We're moving. All right, what do you have go going over there? How do you watch this? Do you watch this as you collage? Let me know, I'm interested. Do you watch this in a waiting room while you're at the dentist? Um, these things matter to me, please let me know. Because then I'll know how to make better con content. I'm a content creator, you guys. Okay, here we go. Ooh, yes. Okay. See, this means it's happening. I'm letting it tell me what it wants to do. So these stickers I found, and I put them in a bunch of collage kits. I think those are all gone, but oh, they're so much fun. It's a label for sardines. So much fun. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Ooh. Oh, you know what? I have tons. Let's do this. I think we've gotten to the point in the collage where circles. So I did my go-tos, right? I always put flowers when I'm kind of like stumped. And then I also go to my circles. And look, it all starts to come together. Wow. Okay. Here we go, here we go. And sometimes silence really helps, right? We just stop for a minute. Should we try it? Alright, here we go. 30 seconds of silence. Oh, that's a lot. 10 seconds. Is 
Is that 10 seconds? I could hardly contain myself. But, while that was happening, I did hear this. And that felt nice. I don't know why. Okay, I like this. Alright, come on. Doop, 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 doop. So, when you're making something like this, and it's kind of chaotic, again, the colors can bring it together. So, I like this, and I'm going to put uh, corresponding dots on this side, so then it feels balanced. Yeah? Yeah. Ooh, there goes that good silence again. Okay. Voila, I think just a few more and we're in the home stretch and we get to look at what we've done. Yes, I like how it's kind of going to the side too. Hmm. Why not? Pourquoi pas? Ooh, that jumped. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Okay, so this is my collage. Um, what did I do? Having this conversation about uh, AI, I think, kind of brought up some kind of feelings of some sort because it's kind of muted right i usually tend to go really bright um but it's a very optimistic right i ripped this guy's finger but i kept going and i found a flower that fit perfectly in his hand and perhaps i want to put his other finger here there we go yeah there we go and um it looks like it's growing so there's hope i told you i was an optimist um and it's layered, it's complicated, right? So again, you do not have to make a perfect collage every time you come to the table. It's just part of the process. And um, and you don't have to show it to anybody. If you don't have a YouTube channel, you don't have to show it to anybody. But if you do, who cares? You're off the hook because you're human and you're not an AI. You guys, this is Luis Martin, the art engineer. Thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you for listening to my hopes and dreams and slight fears. <laughs> <laughs> if you do anything, go to collagestream.com and get a collage kit. You will not regret it. Uh, there's tons of beautiful things in there. It is a collage studio ready for you to go. And it supports this channel, which is absolutely free for you and everybody else who uh, dials in. All right. I am Luis Martin, the art engineer. Uh, what you do matters. Cheers. I was a little unsettled by this collage, so I turned it into a t-shirt. I finagled with it on Photoshop and played around with it, and this is what I created. A t-shirt, so buy it, wear it, and uh, find the link in the description below. Cheers. Human. Stay tuned after the video and see what I did with this collage. It was an interesting one. See what happens.